Crash Story on this Monday the 13th. I hope you're doing well today. Let's jump right into today's announcements. First of all, this is the schedule that we're going to try to accomplish this week. We might make it and we might not. Here we go. Review sheet today, review sheet tomorrow, test on Wednesday, and we'll start chapter 6 on Thursday and Friday on notes and homework, okay? This assignment here was given to you on on a Friday. Please pause, put, put your uh, name on that, and turn that in now at this time. And please, you have none. Now today, Tori, we're going to start working on the review sheet. You will have two days to do it. Remember, it is for five bonus points on your test. Here's the review sheet. It is pretty long. So be ready to work hard in class today and tomorrow. Okay, here are the two help videos. Okay, 41 minutes and 36 minutes. Feel free to use those all that you need to. Now, for Wednesday's test, um, here's the fill in the blank information. You've got terms right here, theorems here and you're responsible for one proof here, okay? So, all of that is fair game for your test on Wednesday. Now, Tori, I'm thinking about possibly um, splitting this test up into two days. Um, I'm just thinking about if I did that, you would have the fill in the blank part of the test on, well, you know what? I don't think I will do that because that would put a test on when, on Thursday and with church Wednesday night. That's probably not a good idea. So, test on Wednesday. All right. Um, moving on. Okay, your quiz from Friday, first of all. I forgot to put it in the folder. I apologize for this. You did get a 100, okay, but a couple things I want to point out to you. Please listen carefully, okay? On theorem 5, 7, and 5, 8, um, you put the longest angle. Now, it's okay to say longest when you're referring to a side, but think about a Tory for an angle. You should not say longest. You should say largest. Now, of course, I did not take off any points, that's fine. But as you move up in higher levels of math, um, some teachers will want you to use the proper word, okay? So an angle is not really longer, it's larger or smaller, okay? So if it's a side, we say longest side. If it's an angle, we say largest angle or smallest angle. Okay, now on the back of the quiz, um, and again I, again, I apologize for your quiz not being in the, fold, in the folder, but on the back of the quiz, you had a triangle that looked like this. You had A, B, C, and it is a side of 10, a side of 7, and a side of 12. Now, I asked you for the smallest angle, okay, and you put the smallest side. So you draw an arrow and then you put angle 7. Now it's not angle 7, okay? It's angle B. I did not take off any, any points for that um, because I knew what you meant. But again, as you get to higher levels of math, some teachers are going to be picky about that. So just be careful, okay? Now tomorrow's quiz. <clears throat> no theorems 510, 511 for fill in the blank and study your homework from lesson 5.5, okay? That's for tomorrow's quiz. That's it, Tori. Have a great day. Please get to work on your review sheet. Contact me if you have any questions at all.